what is up youtube nimbus here back with another video so we are going to talk about the jordan black metallic 5 today and before we go any further i just kind of wanted to say sorry for the inconsistency on this channel i've been having some computer issues lately and yeah now on to the jordan black metallic 5 overview we're going to go over the materials real quick so on the upper you have a synthetic all black leather you have mesh along the side part of the shoe and on the lower part of the tongue the upper part of the tongue is comprised of a 3m material which is reflective to light with a red jumpman you have a clear lace lock you will you have two lace locks you have the uh clear part and then you have the inner red part both have nike branding and on the other side you have a jump man so nice little added details to that on the front part of the midsole you have your gray shark teeth with black speckling jordan brand and nike or whoever makes this shoe i don't know at this point but yeah they went bananas on the speckling which is pretty damn cool if you ask me it's kind of reminiscent of what they did for the earlier release of the cement fours uh, I know they went completely nuts on the speckling on the cement fours as well, which they did on. They did the same for this one, which I like a lot. And it's often a very detail that's underlooked, but I can appreciate and I dig. I dig what they're doing. You have clear icy blue outsoles, which I like. I, I personally do like. To me, I think the blue just makes it pop and you know just give it a little bit more life and. Uh, also on the bottom side you have your nike branding on the black part of the bottom sole so that's nice it's you know it's a retro of the og so it makes sense that they would do that you have your air unit on the back lateral side of the shoe and to tie it all together you got that famous nike air branding which ties the shoe together and it just brings it to life in my opinion it's the main focal point of the shoe and that's that it's gonna do it for the material side of things so now let's talk about price and my review i guess let's talk about the price first and foremost i just wanted to say that this is an expensive ass shoe i know that when when i first purchased it i thought i was gonna like the shoe you know a lot of people were saying it was a new buck which new buck is actual leather it's just the way that it's processed and it's made to look the way that it does you know and Upon further investigation, I was able to confirm through what people were saying on YouTube and, you know, confirm sources that it was indeed a synthetic leather. And so that kind of got me thinking and it kind of gave me a sick feeling. And after a couple of days of just, you know, having this shoe, I decided to return it because if I'm going to be spending that much on a shoe, I think that the quality should be justified in terms of the quality of the materials that they're going to be providing us so i didn't really think it was there i didn't think the purchase was justified so i ended up taking my pair of sneakers back to champ sports and you know just getting my money back there are better options out there there are companies that do far more for far less and i think that if a customer is willing to pay almost 250 dollars that they do indeed have options out there available to them so and i understand it's a jordan it's a jordan uh, retro of an og and there's gonna be hype behind it but in all honesty i think that uh as a customer I think you need to be well informed and just make better decisions and I feel like the older that I get uh, I feel like my money should be <laughs> spent more wisely even though I don't make the best decisions I mean yeah I, uh, the older that I get the more I, I kind of want to justify purchases and uh, 200 almost 250 bucks I think I could you know spend that money elsewhere you know I could get a external microphone that I've been wanting for better audio in my vlogs my computer has been running hot recently probably from all these fire ass videos i've been making boy if you don't get that's a joke <laughs> that's a joke by the way i guess at the end of the day it's just how much do you value your dollar so that's gonna do it for me i will see you guys in the next video peace